It almost feels like every time I wake up there's a new scandal in the entertainment industry. <sighs> Not again. And honestly, it's really, really exhausting. Hello, ladies, gentlemen, everything in between and neither. Today I wanna, well, not necessarily talk about cancel culture, but I want to share my feelings on navigating this, well, more or less minefield of whatever is going on in the entertainment industry and especially the gaming industry. But before I get started, feel free to follow me on my social media on Instagram and Twitter at CommanderNikki, just like my channel name. And I think an outfit change is due. <sighs> so, <laughs> the gaming industry, huh? Oh, damn. We're in for a wild ride. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I want to be honest, I don't know where to start and um, uh, I'm probably also not the most qualified person to talk about this since I have basically no clue about any industry stuff that's going on and uh, other things like, well, sometimes companies do work overtime, but like, uh, that's bad. Like, if you've got so many things to do that your workers have to do. Over time, why not hire more workers so everyone just works normal hours? Like, shouldn't it work like that? I have no clue. I, I want to be all honest about that. And that's just the stuff about tackling the problem with the crunch times that... CD Projekt Red, or Naughty Dog, for example, or a shit ton of other game companies got accused of and definitely had employees talk about and say, yo, uh, I haven't seen my family for like three weeks at a time while working on this game. Please help me. <laughs> Things like that, like, crunch shouldn't be a thing, like, just just push back the release of a game, like, I'll be fine with that, if you just don't overwork your game devs, please, and how do we handle a game that's being produced on crunch, like, um, The allegations about Naughty Dog, for example, and I enjoyed The Last of Us 2, even though I know that there was, like, some problems with the crunch time, but allegedly everyone was fine with that. Well, I doubt that. Like, definitely not everyone was fine with that, I'm sure about that. And... Then we have, well, bigger problems. There, for example, uh, the whole Ubisoft deal with the misconduct at the workplace, like sexual harassment and um, bullying and all that kind of stuff, and like 
do I want to support a company like that? I mean, unfortunately, I already have with several hundreds of bucks. I'm pretty sure, like, I got The Crew 2, I got several Far Cry games, I've got several Assassin's Creed games. I love... Steep. And there's probably a few more Ubisoft titles that are just escaping my mind right now that I also love. Loved, love, and spent money on. I think Rayman is also a Ubisoft title. Pretty cool game, cool platformer. I like it a lot. And now I'm standing here and thinking about how I can handle this topic. Like, the damage is done, I spent the money on that company that has so much stuff going on that is just wrong and, and... Should I just stop playing those games? I mean... It's not like I'm spending more money on them playing them. Well, I mean... I... Hey, my energy bills, but... What I pay for the electricity to run my PlayStation isn't going into Ubisoft's wallet. At least I hope so. And same with the very, very recent Tripwire scandal about the CEO, well, former CEO, um, treating in support of the Texas abortion law that just recently passed. And it makes me uncomfortable to know that I spend money on companies and directly or indirectly pushed money towards shitty human beings and same with JK Rowling I've always 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 uh, no pun intended loved Harry Potter and now I have my DVD collection or Blu-ray in that case right here uh, I've covered it up as much as I could and uh, I would just remove them from the shelf but it would just remind me of the empty and hurtful space it left in my chest knowing that JK Rowling is such a shit person. like. Of course, she has all those charity stuff, which is great and good, and Lumos is amazing, but I don't want to support a transphobe. And even though the upcoming Harry Potter game specified that JK Rowling has no involvement in the game and gets no money from it, it's still the Harry Potter brand that's still connected to her and it will more or less indirectly or directly give her money again, which I don't want. So yes, even though the game has been something that I've always wanted to play, I will not buy it. I probably won't even buy it used. I just... No. And 
I can still enjoy some Harry Potter content made by fans, but I don't think I will be re-watching the movies anytime soon or touching the books anytime soon. It just hurts too much to know that she's such a transphobe and like, no, I don't want su to support a person like that. Same with other stuff. There's shows like The Hundred, which concept I love, but the whole Lexa deal, which you've probably heard about, uh, just left a bit of taste in my mouth. I wish I could continue watching it without thinking about that. Same with Supernatural, like the first seven seasons or something. I enjoyed a lot, but I want to be honest, it has been going on for way too long and it has also been on a lot of bullshit, like mm, all the women deaths, all the queer deaths, all the queer baiting, all the um, ableism, all the all the many problems that Supernatural has. You could probably find some critical Tumblr blog about it and. It will tell you all about it, like, that's not my problem to tackle and talk about here. It's just also something that I think about when choosing my media to consume and enjoy. It's difficult and in the end I think there, there, there isn't enough people to consistently cancel to say that word. There isn't enough people to just stick together and avoid consuming a thing that has problematic also such a loaded word that has problematic things surrounding it. I'm pretty sure if you dig deep enough there's problems with Life is Strange. There is uh, probably problems with oh, uh, Firewatch or Oxenfree. Uh, I know Mass Effect aged pretty poorly considering some topics and EA isn't the best company um, to talk about, you know, for the microtransactions and how Andromeda was handled because of them. Uh, same with Bethesda, there's probably problems too, yet I still can't stop loving Skyrim. There's <laughs> the Twilight Renaissance and everyone is making memes and TikToks and shit posts which are absolutely hilarious but we can't forget that Edward is a creepy ass gaslighting stalker and that's not a romance it's just fucking creepy yet it's sold to us as romance and let's not forget the whole deal with Jacob and the imprinting. Gross. And I think it comes down to a certain kind of awareness of the problems of content you consume. 
Even before we all knew how shitty J.K. Rowling was, there's still a lot of bad stuff in the books. Like, um, I've heard certain voices call the Goblin Bank uh, pretty anti-Semitic, which is like hella bad. Like, nope, big, big, big nope, and. Uh, the thing with the house elves and Dobby, who apparently is a slave who loves to surf. Oof. Big oof. And I think if you dig deep enough, there's really, like I said, problems everywhere. I don't think there's perfect game or game company or game developer or something. I mean, I'm just waiting for the day that uh, Concerned Abe, the creator of Stardew Valley, says something really, really bad and I, I don't want to think about it. Or John Williams. I, I, I don't want to know what skeletons he has in his closet. Because I enjoy his music. It's great and amazing and it has a certain kind of magic to it. Which I love a lot. And every time I open Twitter and see a celebrity name trending, I wonder... Oh. Is it their birthday? Did they die? Or are they dead to me now? And... I think it's weird to have that kind of fear. There's probably some kind of word for that. Like, being afraid of someone you admire disappointing you? Uh, and it's, there's probably a few creators that I think are great and I admire their work, but I'm really afraid that they turn out to be massive douches and I can't enjoy their stuff without a clear conscience anymore. And the list of things that I can potentially enjoy without worrying about people pointing out to me, hey, that's bad, gets increasingly smaller and smaller almost each day. And I'm tired of it. And on the one hand, I just want to be an asshole and say, yo, I'ma go enjoy what I want to enjoy and don't care about anything in the world. Just, I just want to have my fun. I gonna, I'm gonna eat all the sheep meat I can eat. I don't care about animals. I, I mean, I do. And I think it's horrible. But as long as tasty meat alternatives are around the same price range as good cruelty-free meat. Um, cruelty-free meat is, is uh, a kind of oxymoron. But you know what I mean, like if my neighborhood cow has all its life happy on the meadow and, and eating all the grass it can get until, until it's safely and carefully processed to be a great steak on my plate. That's okay, but that's also really, really, really expensive. Like, 
I don't know how the situation is for whoever is watching, but here a good vegetarian meat alternative still costs as much as really really good well-treated meat and I know eating a lot of meat is not the healthiest thing and I don't want to open that kind of topic too but I still enjoy barbecuing all the sausages and uh, the chicken breast that I season so amazingly. I just gonna admire myself here. <laughs> and like, I'm not sure what I can enjoy. It's hard. And I'm tired. And I wish I could be that asshole to say, I don't care, I'm gonna go enjoy what I want to enjoy, but I can't. And so I stop talking about certain games, even though I maybe played them or I think they're worth mentioning in a favorites list. Like recently, my five favorite open world games. Uh, if it wasn't for the Ubisoft scandal, there would be at least one Assassin's Creed game, and uh, Far Cry 5 wouldn't have made the honorable mentions list, it would have made the five list. And to rearrange my, uh, my favorites like that feels really, really weird and so limiting. And even when you take good content, it's still being taken apart and People point out, hey, uh, so there is a word used that uh, not many people like. For example, like, just take the word queer. To some people, it's still an insult. But to me, it's the perfect umbrella term that doesn't exclude anyone when you say LGBTQI+. Yes, sure, the plus is like including everyone and the Q in LGBTQ is already for the word queer, but if you start saying LGBTQ, then I, A, that's just confusing and such a mouthful to say and Queer, that's one word, that's one syllable, and it includes everyone, no matter what exactly you are, you can just say, hey, I'm queer. Do you out yourself as trans or gay? Mm, no, you don't. You just say, you, well, you still out yourself, but you... You don't necessarily specify. You could be bi and nobody would really care. Well, people do care and I think bi people are by far one of the most questioned orientations. <laughs> like, pick a side. Oh, you're just greedy. Let's not go too far into that topic, but even when there's good content, it's still taken apart and criticized heavily because not everything can be absolutely perfect. And that's also sad and also a problem. I 
I'm tired and I just... To be honest, I want answers. How should I deal with those situations? Tell me in the comments, please. Um, and I think I'm, I've been rambling too much. Uh, I just want to try to end the video here uh, by saying maybe we should just try and be more aware of problems, but I think if we already own the stuff, I think it's still okay to play uh, read, watch, to enjoy it, if we can, with the knowledge we have, but the damage is done, the bad guys got the money. What we can do is spread awareness of the problems and uh, don't buy future products. Like, that's the only solution that I can think of. So, if you enjoyed this video, leave a like. Comment down below, how would you handle those situations? Uh, are you gonna get the next Far Cry game? What about whatever Ubisoft has planned for the future of Assassin's Creed? Uh, now that the Tripwire CEO has been replaced, is it still okay to like Maneater or is it still cancelled? Leave a comment down below, what do you think? Subscribe if you haven't already and until I figure out what I can upload next. I forgot to tell you to follow me on my social media, uh, Instagram, Twitter, at Command and the Heat, just like my channel name, and until I figure out what I can upload next, watch my stuff. Bye.